blessed Thursday morning to you. Priorities. All of us have to prioritize, don't we? Priorities are those things which come before everything flows out of our priorities. Well, here's a question I want to pose for our time of study today. What is the number one priority for us? What's the number one priority for us? To study that, why don't we turn to the Gospel of Luke, the 10th chapter, please. The Gospel of Luke, the 10th chapter. And there we see a story involving Mary and Martha. Look with me, please, at verse 38 of chapter 10. Now, as they went on their way, he, that being Jesus, entered a certain village where a woman named Martha welcomed him into her home. She had a sister named Mary, who sat at the Lord's feet and listened to what he was saying. That phrase there, that she sat at the Lord's feet, is really a, quite a radical statement. Because in ancient day, the women were prohibited from sitting at the feet of the rabbi. In order to listen to a rabbi, they would have to go to the back, or they would have to sit in the women's section. But here was Mary, beautifully sitting at the feet of our Lord. Verse 40 says, But Martha was distracted by her many tasks. The word there translated distracted means to be, to be pulled away into other things. So you see the picture there. There is Martha, busy with all of the tasks. There's a, there's a dinner prepared, a table to be set. Why, there is linens, perhaps, that need to be changed, towels that need to be put out. And there is Martha, working away, and Mary, sitting at the feet of Jesus. Different priorities, right? Martha has prioritized serving, and Mary has prioritized being served by the word. Well, Martha just can't stand it. Look at verse 40, the second part. So she came to him and asked him, Lord, do you not care that my sister has left me to do all the work by myself? Tell her then to help me. At some point, Martha had come to understand Jesus as Lord. When she asked the Lord, don't you care? That's a fascinating question, isn't it? She's talking to God in the flesh. She is talking to the one that, that Luke records the parable of the Good Samaritan, of this expression of service and mercy and care just before this event here. She's talking with the second member of the Trinity, God in the flesh, and saying, don't you care? Don't you care? Scripture tells us in 1 Peter, the fifth chapter, Cast all your anxiety on him because he cares about you. Psalm 144, O oh Lord, what are human beings that you care for them? To this response, Jesus gives such a, a grace-filled word. Look, please, at verse 41. But the Lord answered her, Martha, Martha, you are worried and distracted by many things. There is need of only one thing. Mary has chosen the better part, which will not be taken away from her. The one thing, the most important thing. Priority number one, to receive, to listen, to study, the word of God. Out of that one thing flows everything else. Priority number one. The Lord Jesus Christ has gone to the cross for us. He's paid the debt of our sin. The tomb is empty. God's grace flows to us as he calls us his own in the waters of baptism 
calling us his children. And he calls us to continually listen to the word because it's out of the word, out of priority number one, that everything else flows, including our service. Let's pray. Gracious Heavenly Father, we thank you for this time in your word. Your word is truth. We give you thanks, O Lord, that you call us and you empower us to live out priority number one, to receive your word. For it is out of that priority that everything flows. Out of receiving your word comes everything, including service. And so, Father, lead us faithfully to your word, feed us, and send us forth as your servants. Thank you, Lord, for priority number one. In Jesus' holy name we pray. Amen. May God bless you this week. Encourage someone 